There are plenty of people right here in the Twin Tiers who need a little extra help when it comes to things like clothing and bedding for their kids. And there are also plenty of people looking to help with donations, but when you donate, do you know where your contributions are going? Tonight I take you to a charity in Tioga County keeping it all local. It's a rainy day in Owego, but for the dozens of families like this one stopping by the Beds for Kids and Clothes for Kids Center, it's a beautiful day. Sure, my name is Mary Titus and I have three children. I have my daughter Olivia, I have my son Jason, uh, he's five, and my older son Nick. He's the family is new to town and needed a new bed for Olivia, who's outgrown her crib. That's where Beds for Kids comes in. It's a no-questions-asked charity that supplies free beds for any family who needs one. People with low income, um, it's kind of a help and a savior. Both Beds for Kids and Clothes for Kids are the brainchild of Leonard Hildale, who founded the Mattress Charity seven years ago and runs both of them out of this old elementary school gymnasium. How many beds would you estimate you give away? About 150 beds a week. Somewhere in that neighborhood, one to one and a half 53-foot tractor trailers a week. Hildale says the beds come from retailers who haul away old mattresses when they deliver a new one. He says the mattresses are inspected three times before hitting the beds for kids' floor. And while it started with bedding for Hildale, it has since spread into a clothing charity, Clothes for Kids. We really don't recognize borders. I don't care where somebody comes from. If they come in here and they say they need clothes for their kids, they can have them. Walking through this room, it's hard to imagine it was once a school gymnasium where President Kennedy campaigned. Hildale says there's now between 20 and 30,000 articles of donated clothing in here. Actually, when you help a child, you're showing them that they live in a community that's loving and caring, and also you're raising their standard of how they think they're supposed to live. Community is very important to Leonard. That's why 100% of donated children's clothing goes to needy kids in our area. That's one thing that makes his organization different. Found that 90% of clothing collected in the United States is sent overseas for profit by charities and by for-profit corporations. And Hildale says that takes clothes away from local kids, but hurts other countries too. What happens is when you send millions and millions of tons of clothing to third world nations, you destroy their textile industries. Hildale serves families in the Elmira area and right now has collection centers in both Elmira and Horseheads, and he's looking to place over a dozen more collection centers. Uh, they're very attractive. They're built by the Amish. They're Borden Batten. Um, we're very responsible about cleaning up, emptying them. Hildale says one day he wants to expand his concept nationally. But for now, though, he can take solace in knowing he helped a little girl and thousands like her find a new bed and new apparel. It'll be great. And we're very thankful. If you are interested in your business hosting a collection center, you can email me directly at bwilcox at wny.com, and I'll be happy to put you in touch with Leonard.